All right, boys and girls. So today, we're going to continue our work with the book Eagle Song. Um, you guys have been working so hard on being good readers and writers. And today, we're going to be incorporating some reading techniques and also some writing techniques to talk about how Danny's mood changes within chapter two. Okay, so today, our learning target, if you guys can just take a look at the chart and read it to yourself. So let's read the learning target together as a class. So it says, I can infer Danny's mood based on details from the text. Excellent. So right now what I want you to do is just turn and talk to the person sitting next to you or across from you. And what do you think that word infer might mean? I think the word infer might mean like uh, how like maybe they use clues from like a text yeah. or, or a maybe package. it's just details from the text to prove something like to prove an answer yes yeah, so like to find the details and yeah. make like you know a guess yeah. of what might be happening yeah <clears throat> i heard a lot of really strong conversation during your turn and talk um would a group like to share out what they were talking about i'm gonna go um Liz and Gabe, go ahead. We think that the word infer means to use like details and evidence from the text to make a guess of what's happening. Excellent, so that word make a guess, right? And I know that when maybe we were younger, like in kindergarten or first or second grade, we might have used the word predict. An inference is like a really strong prediction. But what makes an inference different is that you're really gonna be using evidence from your text to support your thinking. Okay, so today we're going to use close reading strategies to help us find that evidence.